Hey guys, come in here. Here's uh, Portal Story Mel. My gameplay of it. With face cam, as you guys can see. Uh, you guys like the face cam for Resident Evil, so here I go for Portal. Uh, as people know, my uh, picture for YouTube is Kevin in the Portal suit. Well, the shell suit. I need to do... Well, this is just my gameplay of it. I don't know if this will be a series. I'll see if people like it. I'll probably record the entire thing and then edit it down upon that. Uh, so yeah, here I am. Portal Story Mel. Hi. <laughs> I'm just looking at myself on the webcam. Hi. 1952. <clears throat> Is this thing on? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Greetings, astronaut, war hero, or Olympian. My name's Cave Johnson. And boy, do I have something to show you. Me. <clears throat> you're here because you're the best the world has to offer. I don't say that lightly, mind you. So take that as one of the biggest compliments you'll ever get in your life. Even if you don't know who I am. Damn. In the beginning, I started a shower curtain company, making asbestos-laden shower curtains for the military. But I kept dreaming bigger and better. And you know what? That dreaming became doing. Lots of doing. Which brought you here. Me. You're writing into the little Michigan town of... Uh, wait. Where are we again? <laughs> This town doesn't have a name yet, as we're the ones who built it, but that doesn't matter. Point is, you're writing there, and you'll soon be at Aperture Science Innovators. Looks we're fancy. We're getting some of this stuff together, but there's a lot of science we can do in the meantime. You've been selected from a large group of candidates for a special test in our temporary testing areas. Ooh. When the train arrives at the station, <clears throat> you get into the town and into the Aperture building. Don't worry, you'll know where it is. You'll get some more pre-recorded messages once you're there. Now, get ready to do some science. For now, though, we're gonna put on some nice music for you. Enjoy the ride. Okay, so that was Cave Johnson, even though it's not the same voice actor, but hey, they gotta do what they gotta do. I like Portal. The Portal stories. This is a mod, though. I might play Portal. All right, you're now arriving at Aperture Central Station. Station. Wait, Chris, get over here. How do you spell station? Okay, think about that for a second. Okay. Does station have an extra O before the I? Yes. All right, listen to me. Act your things. You're fired. fired. Me. Okay, but yeah, this is a mod, and it's, ooh. I might play the official portal here on the channel. Well, I'm going to play at some point to do the portal race, but for now, I'm just playing portal. Oof, I'm not. Okay, I can leave. Hey. As I said before, there's a lot we're still working on. Just watch your step on the way out, and as a reminder... Aperture Science Innovators is not responsible for any injury you sustain, up to and including death by exposure to cosmic ray spallation. Don't worry, though. We haven't had an accident like that in three days. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Make that three minutes. Here at Aperture Science Innovators, we love to give back to the community. So, instead of just giving back, we made our own community. Entirely made out of Aperture Science malleable concrete on top of the salt mines. And that's exactly why you shouldn't touch the walls or stomp your feet either. <clears throat> Last thing we need is to touch up a dent in the wall because someone was too hands on. <laughs> 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 
Okay. <laughs> I told you it was easy to find. You found it faster than uh, any test subjects on record. <clears throat> uh, that's not good. Yeah. <clears throat> Just head through the door on the right to the elevator. You all know where to go. I went to the left. Explore. Yay. Do, 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 do. Oh, you can't go in. Okay. So, at first, I wanted to put in a long flight of stairs that spiraled down through the old salt mines down here. Give the test subjects a great view of the place. But no! The zoning boards on my bean counters said that's why they invented elevators. So, when someone in a wheelchair threatened to sue, my former boys, Jiggy and Alamein, built this elevator to go to our temporary offices. I'm still working on those stairs, and those guys are working on getting new jobs. <laughs> Seriously, I'm gonna stay on ready, so get on that stupid elevator. <laughs> He's not happy, but I'm happy. Elevators are fun. Unless they stop in the middle of the way, then kinda scary. Yay, now it's just probably gonna be a loaded area. Trying to push the boundaries of science that little bit more. That's why we're taking on this new project. When the bean counters told me not to buy a salt mine to do all this science, the first thing they said was, No, there's too much space. You can't suspend something over nothing and pray that a test could happen in thin air. Well, thanks to some use of the old calculator between years and a generous helping of the you're fired stamp, I came up with a final solution to that. If you can't anchor something in thin air, why bother trying to make it in the air in the first place? I came up with this. Introducing the Aperture Science Innovator's Suspended Testing Sphere. Each sphere is suspended in the air, anchored to the walls by concrete and steel lattice rebar. They seem like they float in the air, but in fact, they don't. Plus, we can keep building above them, onward and upward. This salt mine here can take at least ten of these bad boys per shaft. Nine shafts, oh. many tests. We can test whatever we want to and beat that other company into the ground. Uh -huh. the Black Mesa. Those guys can kiss my ass. Anyway, the bean counters cried like babies when they saw the cost of these things, but they wet their pants when I threw them out the door. I pay the bills, I make the decisions around here, and I hire and fire as I please. <clears throat> Probably very expensive. The first of these spheres won't be ready for a few more months, so you'll be participating in one of our smaller tests, the Aperture Science Innovator's Short-Term Relaxation Vault. Okay. I'm going down. When you get to the offices, I'll tell you a bit more. This test should be real easy for you, though. Just get inside one of the Aperture Science Innovator's short-term relaxation mm -hmm. vaults and lie in a bed. You'll feel yourself fall asleep quickly. Don't I can do that. Our science boys will get you out shortly. You'll only be out for a few minutes, uh, an hour at most, if something goes wrong. <laughs> Don't worry. We ain't got everything under control. You'll be making science. Sure. Thing. Who's the winner here? You are. I see the bottom. I think. It's hot in my room at the time of recording this. 
Not even at the bottom yet. Oh, is this the bottom? Loading. Yay. So, as I said on the last pre recorded message, you'll be heading into an Aperture Science Innovators short term relaxation vault for a quick, deep sleep. And then you're done. That's why we brought you here at night. You're most likely a walking zombie. That'll give us the best results. But just remember, don't stay too long. This isn't a bed and breakfast. And if you decide to stay the night, I'm charging you rent for the next year. <laughs> we'll have a bed ready for you. Just follow the testing area signs and go to bed. Don't mind the turrets. They're firing blanks. At least that's what the crazy Harry told me. Six signs for this to appear, isn't it? Hopefully. Don't worry, those toys won't kill you. The safety on their guns is on. Got some lab boys shut them down. Crazy Harry likes me. Scenes. Good night. I'm dead. Rip. Oh, loading. Loading screen. Haha. -ha. Is a is is this thing on? Hello? Yes. Hello? Can you hear me? Oh, oh. right. You can't answer. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, astronaut, Olympian, or war hero. There was a slight problem with the test. Don't worry though. We got shot. Okay. Nothing's different. Nothing's changed. Just uh, head out of the chamber. I'll tell you a bit more out there. Yeah. Okay. You sure about that? Don't worry about the heights. Had a few of my scientists make what's called long pole boots. Uh, I mean, aperture science innovators, long pole boots. Ah. Uh. They're they're pushing it. Pick that yellow device up. Don't worry, it's not hazardous. I've had the scientists sleep. Okay. Flashy flash. There's an open door nearby. You should take it out of the building. You'll need that new test to move around. Don't worry though, we built a building like this. <laughs> I'm sure that's uh, probably the building too. That. It's just uh, a new drilling test we're doing down below. Yeah, mm -hmm. to get the salt mines deeper, to get more testing spheres in. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Just ignore that. Yeah, sure. Okay, I placed the blue, so I need an orange. An orange. Don't mind all 
this too. We just had the uh, earthquakes. Lots of earthquakes. Yeah. Yeah, you get lots of those. It happens. It happens. I think I'm going down. These earthquakes uh, even shook up time a bit. Some stuff from the future got here. Yeah, that's how it's here. Uh, don't worry, it's still 1952. Adlai Stevenson is still president. All right, so the earthquakes kind of did some redecorating in here. Destroyed the door too. You'll have to find another way out. Damn earthquakes. Always doing my redecorating. Hmm. I know things might look different than what you're used to, but uh, while you were spending that little time sleeping, we had some some uh, aperture science nanomachines come in and build all this stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's it. They're quick little guys. Faster than any science guy I got. No. Now, I just want to make sure you know something before you go any further. We have these new inventions called emancipation grids in place to prevent objects from moving around to other tests. Now, some guy decided that it would be a good idea to make ones that prevent people from going through. And if you turn the power off, you can easily turn it back on. That switch isn't like the rest of them. The others trip a circuit breaker that causes an I think these switches were designed for two people. Maybe your uh, new test can help. Oh, after. Okay, so. I have an orange one over here, I can do that. Okay. It's already starting to get complex, but I like. Portal story mode. Thank you. Thank you for that. Got it. Haha. -ha. Do 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 There we go. Got him. Ow. Volta, the hold on. Pip, testing track. Yes, Pip. You'll need a portal device to get through. Uh, uh, sorry, I, I meant a portable quantum tunneling device. I think. Look, it's in your hands right now. 
the scientist did the job. You'll do fine. I love those scientists. So nice. Got it. I just don't know what I need it for. Hmm. Got it. Now everything about this test is lead line, according to my 1950s notes here in my 1950s filing cabinet. It says it's harmful to humans. Uh, I mean, not harmful to humans. You'll be okay. Perfectly fine. Nothing to worry about. Oh, and uh, don't worry about boxes. We've got a ton back stocked ready for this kind of thing. Thrown at the wall, destroyed, rinse and repeat. Useless little things. Made them in an hour. What? What kind of shit was that?
I got it. Boop. You're not dead. That means that high toxicity lead didn't get in the air and uh I mean great job, astronaut, Olympian, or war hero. You really are a merit to science. Yeah. Or something like that. You just remember the Nuremberg huh. Olympics. <laughs> okay. This test uses the new Aperture Science Innovator's propulsion gel. It allows you to... No, wait, hold on. This record simply didn't make that until the seconds. <laughs> Never you mind that. Just, uh, solve science. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Oop. Okay, and then I want to put that there, put that up there, yes. Oop. Haha, -ha, I got a cube. I don't know what to do with said cube. Oh, I think it's to get up there. Oh, I think I messed up. Oh, I'm dead. Propulsion gel. It allows you to. No, wait, hold on. Never you mind that. You just uh, solve science. Okay, I think I know what to do.
Ta-da. No. I I I'll just take your silence as a yes. Oh right, you can't answer me. Uh, uh just do what I say and you'll be fine. Okay? Okay. Oh, that was suicide. All right, oh, hold up a second, Mel. I don't think you're that stupid that you're going to fall for this anymore. I'll be blunt now. I'm not Cave Johnson. This isn't the 1950s. Everyone you knew and loved is dead. And now you're stuck here in aperture science, done with the trash. Like me. After everyone left because of that boat. Which I'm sure you already knew, but, eh, whatever. However, I can get us out of here. If you're willing to let a voice in the sky who just told you he was lying the entire time he was talking to you control nearly every movement you make. Is that okay? I, I, I'll just take your silence as a yes. Oh, right, you can't answer me. Uh, uh, just do what I say and you'll be fine. Okay? Boop. Hmm. Ha ha ha. That's good to know.
Oh, that works too. Wow. See that pipe there? Got the repulsion gels leaking on? That'll take you to the pumping station. Jump down and walk on it. Oh, and try not to fall off. That goo down there is corrosive, and it doesn't like human skin. Oh, that's good to know. That happened quicker than I thought. Now, according to my records of this room, there should be a turret shooting range at the far side of the room. If you can get through there, you should be able to get to the fourth testing track. That'll take you up to where I am. Ah, great. 
should be a straight shot to the next testing track. Go to that door down at the very end. You know, the one with the giant wheel on it. Do it again. It'll open this time, I swear. Just give it some elbow grease. Oh, come on, you've got this. One more shot. Well, great. You can fling yourself all over the place and get past some old turrets that are firing live rounds, but you can't get a door open. What kind of Olympian are you? Ugh. All right. Let's see what we can do. There's a longer route through a repulsion gel pumping station. Guess you're going to have to go that way. Of course. Of course, the longer way. You can get through this pumping station and prepare yourself to get out of Bravo Volta into the Lima Whiskey testing track. That should bring you closer to me and to your own escape from this facility. All right, I know what you're thinking. What on earth is going on here? Well, aperture's early tests. The local zoo made an offer we couldn't refuse, so you may encounter several grizzly bears and or lions in this next test. Okay. Oh, there's no sun. Okay. Well, it was worth a try. way over it. Those of you that smoke may want to steer clear of this next one. We've coated the propulsion gel in gasoline. Thought it might increase the acceleration properties of the gel. Turns out it's just extremely flammable and ignites when you run on it. <laughs> Good old Cave Johnson. Silly man. Uh huh. All right, look, I'm sorry for what I said back there. We're in this together. You're my ticket out of the junkyard down here. I'm your ticket to the outside world. I'll do my best to keep the insults at a minimum. Just. Well, thank you. We fell out of love like shooting stars came crashing down And we're building back